So I'm filming this at 9.45 in the morning, so the light is like coming in really weird in the windows. I have the blinds closed over there, so hopefully this line isn't too distracting. This video I have a uh, beauty favorites for you guys. I haven't done, I haven't talked about my, my beauty favorites in a really long time, and I just kind of want to get on here and share with you what my favorites are. Also, if you're distracted by this, I burned myself on my curling iron this morning, and I don't have any band-aids, so I just used washi tape and, um, what's it called? Paper towels. So it's a little janky, but I kept hitting it on things. So yeah. Um, I also have one unfavorite that I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to start with that just so I can end on a happy note. And that is the Maybelline Master Precise uh, Liquid Eyeliner. Now I've been on the hunt for a good liquid eyeliner for a really long time and my favorite, all time favorite is the Stilo one. And I ran out and I, um, had just made a large order from Sephora and I didn't want to spend another $20 that I didn't have because I'm in between jobs right now. So I just went to the drugstore. I was in CVS anyway picking up a prescription and um, so I picked this up and I love it. I love the way it goes on and everything but because I'm a contact lens wearer my eyes tend to be very wet. Um, if like I lay down or even just during the day my eyes will water and my wings will just end up being smudged or I'll like end up crying black and um, you know there was one night where I accidentally forgot to take off my makeup which I never do I just completely forgot and I ended up with black all on my face and it took like four times scrubbing it in the shower to get it off which is weird but um, anyway I just this stuff just does not stay put. I much prefer the Stila one because it's waterproof. And this is a little easier to like if you mess up or like, you know, don't like the way your wing looks. It's easy to kind of tweak and with as with the Stila one, you kind of have to, once you put it into place, it's there for good until you take it off. But I feel like I just, I like that one a lot better, personally. I won't wear these when I'm wearing my contacts just because my eyes get really watery, so. I, if you're a contact lens wearer, I really don't recommend using the Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner. So keeping on the trend of eyes, I'm going to talk about an eyebrow pencil and this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Please don't look at my eyebrows too closely, they really need to be waxed, like they're really, really bad. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it <laughs> between my move and looking for jobs and everything, I just haven't gotten around to getting my eyebrows done. Um, next time I'm with my mom, I think I'm gonna go to the place that she goes to because I like the way they do my brows. But anyway, um, this is the NYX Micro Brow. I don't know if I said that. And I have this in the shade Ash Brown, which I feel like the shades that they have in this product aren't um, completely accurate to like what's on the box because the boxes are like sealed shut in the store and I I had a really hard time picking out which one I wanted because it was either they have I think they have four. It's like blonde, auburn, ash brown, and then chocolate or something like that. And I knew chocolate was gonna be way, way too dark. Blonde was too light, obviously. And I'm not despite what this this lighting makes it seem like, I'm not super red right now. I'm pretty much at my natural hair color, which is like like a brownish kind of color. And I feel like I was worried that ash brown would look too cool on me because my hair tends to go a little bit on the red side in certain lights. But in all honesty, like you can't really tell the difference between this and my natural hair color. But um, what I really like about this is that it's super fine. It reminds me so much of the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but like a firmer product. It's not as like waxy. Um, it's a little bit more pencil -y and it doesn't break as easily which is really really nice and it has a really nice spoolie on the end you guys know how much I love my Anastasia spoolies but this one is arguably as good if not better so I really recommend this brow pencil and um, I will definitely be getting my eyebrows done soon because they're really bad right now um, I want to talk about two more eye products the first one is a liquid eyeshadow or like a cream eyeshadow I guess 
And this is the repackage of the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I, it's called iChromes. And this is in the color Beige Luster. And I'm not going to swatch this on my hand because it's one of the things I love about it is that it stays on really, really well. Um, and I have a job interview later, so I don't really want to have like a swatch on the back of my hand. But um, I love this stuff. This is the color that it's in. And it's like this really pretty, um, well, beige luster is pretty much spot on right there. Um, it has a little bit of a glitter tone. What I do with this is when I don't feel like wearing like a full on eyeshadow look, or if I just am running out the door or whatever, I'll just throw this on. Um, like I'll just put a little bit on on my lid and take a fluffy brush and just blend it out in the crease and be good to go. Um, or I'll blend it out with my finger. Um, I highly recommend using like a MAC 217, something along those lines to blend it out though, because um, it does dry really fast and I feel like to blend it out a little bit with a brush, I think it would be better because it gives you more of a seamless kind of look. And even, just throwing in a little bit of a matte like kind of transition color on there with and it would be like a really easy look um i really really recommend these i prefer these um style color tattoos to the original color tattoos i like the color selection a little bit better it's easier to use they don't dry out it's not gross it reminds me a little bit of i can't remember what it's called it's the one by nyx it's the nyx like cream eyeshadows the one that's like, kind of in a similar packaging um it just reminds me a little bit of those and I highly, highly recommend them. This one is kind of an old favorite, um, but I just recently repurchased it and I'm loving it. And this is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. And if you know me, you know I don't really normally gravitate towards like real brush mascaras, but this one is a little bit more bristly than the ones I tend to go for. I tend to go for the ones that are like um, more rubbery. But I love, 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 love this mascara. I'm wearing it today, but I'm also wearing like really natural looking falsies. So um, I love the way this makes my lashes look. It's um, easy to take off at night, but it's not flaky. So you don't get like the weird chunks on your face. And I believe it does have like a complex in it where it like helps grow your lashes, which is really nice because I tend to... Um, I have like a mild form of trichotillomania so I tend to like pull my eyelashes or my hair so this is really nice because a lot of the times I'll have like sparse patches in my eyelashes because of that so that's a fun time then I have a concealer this is one that's been talked about for probably a few years now or so I'm not sure but this is a concealer and this is the NARS creamy concealer and I have this in the shade vanilla which is perfect for my skin tone my lighting is a little weird right now but um it's a little bit lighter than the rest of my skin but not overly light where if i use it on a blemish it's not going to like highlight the blemish but it you know does really work on under eye circles and brighten them and everything and i love the coverage on this i love the blendability it's really really nice it looks really natural it doesn't like cling to my dry patches you could easily like liquid and cream contour with them because they're that blendable and that great I just realized there's a throw pillow on the ground back there I'm sorry if that's distracting yikes um then I have my powder that I've been using I don't know if I've talked about this in a video yet this is the Laura Mercier candle glow sheer perfecting powder and I have this in the color one and mine looks a little gross just because I've been using it obviously and I'm having a really hard time with foundations and powders. I like a glowy finish, but I don't like it to feel sticky. So if you can recommend a liquid foundation for me that has a good coverage for like acne and stuff, but doesn't feel heavy and has kind of a glowy finish and sets. Is that possible? Makeup detectives, figure this out for me. Um, but anyway, I've been using this powder. Um, it kind of is along the same lines as the MAC Mineral Life Skin Finish Natural, um, but it's a little, like a touch more glowy. And it is very, very sheer. But what I like about this is that I can set my foundation and it still look glowy. Then I kind of have an old standby, but it's a different shade. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And you guys know how much I love Moonstone. And I've loved Moonstone for a really long time, probably a couple of years, but I bought, I believe, I don't even remember when I bought this. It was before Christmas. 
but I've had this for, hmm, I don't even remember, late summer. So I've had it for around like five months or so, so it's been a while. But I haven't talked about makeup in a really long time. So, and this is Opal. So this is Opal, um, and it is more of like a goldy pink kind of color. And what I love about this is that it, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to swatch it on my hand because I have a job interview later, but it really picks up in the light. I have it on today. It really picks up different colors in the light. So sometimes it'll shine a little more pink. Sometimes it'll shine a little more gold. Um, and depending on like what eyeshadow is and what blush you're wearing, it's also like a really, really good, um, if you want like an all over glow kind of look, just to do a lighter, like a light wash of it over your blush. It's great as an eyeshadow. It's awesome. I highly recommend Opal. I think I might like it better than Moonstone. It's awesome. Then I have a um, lipstick favorite. I had another one from the same line, but I seem to misplace it. Um, but I recently per like made an order on Sephora.com and I was in the lipstick section like you do. Um, and I love Bite lipsticks. We all know this. I've been talking about Bite for a really long time and I came across this color and I hadn't seen a color like this. I mean, they're coming, brands are coming out with brand, uh, colors like this more recently, but I haven't seen a co color like this in a really long time that I really liked. And this is called Verbena and this is in their amuse-bouche line and it looks like this. It's kind of like a terracotta e pink. I'm wearing it today with um color pop lumiere so it's a little it's a little more muted than it normally is but this is kind of like a terracotta -y pink color it's a little bit warmer of a nude i really really love it i will put like a little like i wore it the other day in an instagram post and i will put it like right here um but i love this lipstick it i don't feel like the formula feels any different than the other bite formulas but you know that's just me um, I also did buy Fig in this one. If you guys know me, you guys know Fig is my favorite lipstick ever. And they discontinued it and then brought it back in their Amuse Bouche line. Now, Fig in the Amuse Bouche line is different than the original Fig, which pisses me off. It's a little bit more pink than it was originally, where the original Fig was a little more berry nude, if that makes sense. I don't have it to show you. I think I might have left it at my mom's I don't remember but I love fig as well but verbena is probably the one that's taken my heart I love verbena it looks so good with so many different eyeshadows especially if you're gonna wear golds or coppers on your eyes it looks so so good highly highly recommend this if you are of like a light to medium or if you're dark skin wear whatever the hell you want to wear on your lips but if you're around my skin tone, it'll look amazing on you. I can't vouch for anybody else, but if you're of my skin tone, I highly recommend Verbena. I think that's how you say it. V-E-R-B-E-N-A. I'm gonna go Verbena. Um, then the last two products I have, one is a hair product, one is a skincare product. The hair product I'm sure I've talked about before, and this is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Now, as you guys know, I recently cut my hair. My hair was originally here, so like just, just above my boobs, um, and I just got it cut to my chin. It's curly, so you, it's a little bit shorter than it normally is. I was kind of going for a, um, 20s, like kind of vintage vibe. I love, um, if you guys have seen Fantastic Beasts, Queenie, her hair, I love her hair. Anyway, um, it's kind of what I was going for, but when my hair was really long, it was super tangly, and I used this a lot, and I used this a couple of times since my hair's been short. It's only been short for maybe about two weeks now, so I'm still getting used to it a little bit, but, um, I really love the way this makes my hair feel, and I put this into my hair when it's damp and then I sleep on it because I don't really blow dry my hair um, and I'll just put it a little tiny little bit because like I said I don't have much hair now but um, the way it makes my hair feel it feels so silky it like I wake up with my hair super shiny when it's dry and when I do curl it it lasts all day and last time I curled my hair I put this in when it was still wet I curled my hair the next day and 
I slept on those curls and my hair was still curly the next day which when I had long hair my hair maybe lasted the curls maybe lasted maybe a couple hours and I would have to recurl them so yeah I highly recommend the prime style extender from living proof it's awesome my mom loves it too so and my mom has probably about shoulder length hair um, but she loves it and she blow dries her hair religiously so if you um, it's also good for blow drying if you want but it's a really good like weatherproof kind of thing if you live in a humid climate or anything like that then um, my last product that I have to talk about is a skincare and this is the clear cell ultra rapid action face scrub uh, maximum strength uh, visibly clear skin as fast as 12 hours now I don't know if that's true but I didn't realize how much I loved this stuff until recently when I purchased I for some, I think I left this in my at my parents house and I couldn't find it clearly because it was at my parents house and so I went and purchased a different thing because I couldn't find the clear cell section in my target because I'm stupid and so I recently bought the like similar kind of thing but in the Neutrogena line and I don't like it as much I it's not as exfoliating it's more drying this one makes my skin feel so good it's very very gritty um, but I use it in the shower because that way I know I get it all off um, and it keeps all the acne at bay since I stopped using it I'm gonna start using it again but since I stopped using it I broke out like right here and I never break out right there if I break out anywhere it's usually around my mouth because it's all like hormonal and stuff but yeah um, I highly 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 recommend this um, they say when you're in your 20s you stop getting acne. That is bullshit. <laughs> I'm 22 come, going on 23 and I still get acne like a 17 year old and it's really annoying. So yeah, that is everything I have to show you because I'm looking back to get back into doing these kind of videos and I just really miss editing and I miss being on camera and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you guys in my next video.